Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're gonna to take a look at some headphones. So they're five bucks. You can get them at Big Lots. They're made by Century. A little bit of glare on there. But open them up. There's nothing special about them. But they're pretty good headphones for the price, and I'll tell you why. Okay, here we have the Century headphones. Century is the company. This is the HO261. Not that the model really matters. It's going to look for... It'll be gray or it'll be black. I don't think that's the only colors. There may be a, like a gold one. I'm not sure. But these are just stereo headphones. I want headphones with no Bluetooth, uh, no USB. Just your, your standard 3.5 millimeter jack. That's what you're going to get. Of course, compatible with old school devices. It has volume control in the line, which is nice. So I've used Century actually for years. You can get them at Big Lots. Uh, when you go to Big Lots, there's gonna be a ton of headphones. <clears throat> there's gonna be Century and Vivitar mainly. Vivitar, you kind of want to stay away from. Uh, I've tried a couple of their products. I don't like them at all. Uh, like I said, I've used this for years. It used to come in like a clear package. Now it comes in this bare bones box, which is fine. <clears throat> so I have five bucks. They sound good, and I'll show you how they look. Also, have a nice amount of padding, which is nice. And, you know, nothing to it, just headphones. They're also very light, <clears throat> which is a huge benefit, I think. So they're very light. The padding is really soft. So they feel really good when you wear them. So you can wear them for a long period of time. Here's your inline volume. And of course, your adjustable headsets. I'm sure you've all seen Headphones before, but like I said, these are the old school kind. They feel really good, very light. They sound very good. You know, they're not gonna be like audiophile quality or anything, but they sound better than Vivitar. They definitely feel better than Vivitar's. Now the thing is, it is Sentry, and you're gonna see a bunch of different types of headphones from Sentry. And they're gonna be like packs with the earbuds and like the, the clamshells and the bigger clamshells and the foldable kinds. I've tried the foldable kinds, didn't like them at all. They're not comfortable. They'll have like a round um, this fixture here. So they don't they don't fit well in the ear at all. And the sound quality is okay. It's about the same as this Sentry. Uh, Vivitar, um, I remember they're very low. They don't feel good. They're kind of tight on your head or they're, they're too heavy for what they are and they feel very, very cheap. This feels as cheap as you would expect it. Does that make sense? Maybe a little bit better actually for being five bucks. I strongly suggest if you want a simple headset, pick up the Volume Control Sentry HO261 at Big Lots. It's usually where you can find them. And have a good day or night, wherever you are.